Hi, John Shackleton here. As you may or may not know, my background is sports psychology, and I've got a little statement for you that I think might sort of be a bit confrontational for you. Would you please stop motivating your staff? I know every course you've ever heard about leadership or management's always talked about motivation, right? But I actually don't believe it's a good idea. I've got two thoughts for you. Firstly, what motivates you may not motivate me. And secondly, you can never really know what it is I'm thinking. So if you put those two together, how, how are you gonna know what is gonna motivate me at any moment in time? You might guess, you might guess that correctly. But to be honest with you, you'd be lucky if you do guess it right. I'm what they call a motivational speaker. Uh, I really don't believe in the term, if I was able to motivate you, how long would that motivation last? So if you're at a conference today, do you think next Wednesday my motivation is gonna actually help? I heard somebody say the other day that it's Steve Hansen's job to motivate the All Blacks. I personally don't believe that's true either. I mean, what does Steve Hansen do if he's got an All Black that's not motivated? He kicks him out, right? Even if you could motivate me, I think it'd be a pretty stupid idea to do it. You see, if you've got to motivate me today, you're gonna to have to do exactly the same thing tomorrow. Once you've motivated me, who do I believe is in charge of my motivation now? I need you all the time, don't I? And you've actually made me weaker rather than stronger because you've provided the input rather than me. I haven't learned anything from that. Plus, do you have the time to motivate me every day? <laughs> I don't think so. Have a look at this clip. My father retired at the age of 60. By the time he was 62, he'd had two heart attacks. After the second heart attack, he went to his doctors and the, the doctor said to him, and he used these 10 simple words, if you don't change your lifestyle, you'll be dead in six months. Now, I'm a health and fitness freak and I've been banging on to my dad about quitting smoking and changing his diet for, and taking up exercise for years. He didn't take any notice of me, did he? I'm his son, what do I know? But the doctor says those 10 simple words and bang, my father immediately changed. My father walked out of his office a non-smoker. He immediately changed his diet. And at the age of 62, he took up exercise. He started walking five kilometers a day. He's now 85, and we've no idea where he is. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's now 85 going on 15. Now, we've, we've got 20 years out of that situation. Why? Because the doctor motivated him. No, the doctor did not motivate him. I had been using those words to my father for many years. The words were in place. My father took the words and for the first time in his life internalized them. All motivation is internal. I don't think your job is to motivate me. I think your job is to inspire me to take more responsibility for my own motivation. Think of it in terms of your own team. Who needs the most motivation in your team? The top performer or the bottom performer? Pretty obviously the bottom performer, right? What does that tell you about top performers? What it says to me is that they understand what motivates them. They know what they've got to do in terms of getting themselves to achieve. They've learned that and it's the bottom performers we've got to help in terms of learning what motivates themselves. Finally, just think of this. Who's supposed to motivate you? Who's supposed to motivate the entrepreneurs of this world when they're starting out in a business and building it from scratch? Whose job is it to motivate Mahe Drysdale or Valerie Adams? Pretty obviously, all of those people, it's themselves. And I believe that's what we've got to induce in our staff as well. So please stop motivating your staff and inspire them to learn more about their own motivation. That's the real message here. Thanks very much for your time. Please connect with me on Facebook or LinkedIn or on YouTube and uh, watch some of the other videos I do. Take care.